Hello, um, this video is for Mr. Alexander's uh, geometry class. We're gonna go over the uh, quiz that you all took on circles and transformations. It was one of, it was a, a quiz that covered two different units of study. Um, and so the first part is we're gonna study, we're gonna go over the circular area part. And on each problem, I asked you to identify the values that you're gonna use in the formula. And uh, in a sector like this, we need to identify the radius and we need to identify theta, which would be the, the central angle that sort of tells us the proportion of the circle that's filled in. And it says explicitly on the quiz, if you see a dashed line, then assume that the number next to it is the entire length of that line. And we know that the radius is the distance from the center to the edge of a circle. And so the radius of, uh, of this problem is 19. It's just given right there. The theta of the... Um, uh, the theta that you use, the angle, is the angle that's associated with the shaded area. And so in this case, it is not 220. It's the bit that's left over. It's actually 360 minus 220, or, you know, 140. So this is a 140 degree angle, 140 degree angle, which means that the area uh, that's shaded in, the area of an entire circle is pi times the radius to the second power, um, which I think you know by now. But the portion of the circle that's shaded in, the fraction that's shaded in here is 140 degrees out of a total of 360 degrees. And so we, we identify those values and then we plug them into this formula and you know you, you multiply the fraction that's shaded in by the area of the whole circle and you get approximately 440.8 uh, square inches was the answer for number one, okay? Um, and you'd need a calculator to to arrive at that, but um, just writing this part down is really important. Let's look at number two. Number two is a circular analyst. And in order to find the area of that donut, we need to really just take the area of the large circle and subtract the area of the small circle, right? And so one way we could do that is we just have to identify what is the radius of the large circle and what is the radius of the small circle. And remember, the dashed line indicates the number next to the dashed line is the entire length. So this it's 20 centimeters, and that is the radius of the outer circle. That's a radius is the distance from the center to the edge. So the big R was 20. And then the little r is the distance from, from here to here. And since this is 5 centimeters, that means we can calculate that this must be 15 centimeters because it's 20 minus 15. So the little r was 15. So now to find the area, we could just do pi times 20 squared because that's the area of the large circle. And then just subtract the area of the white circle here, which would be pi times 15 squared, or if you like, which I like, we can factor the pi out of those two things and do, it's just pi times 20 squared minus 15 squared. And again, chug it through your calculator and you get about 549.5 square centimeters was the answer for that one. So be very careful, this is not a radius, okay? That is not a radius. A radius should always start at the center and then go to the edge of a circle. Let's look at the last one. Um, here we have the same idea, only this is a half of the analyst. And so first let's identify the radius of the inner circle because it's not 12. 12 is the diameter, which makes the radius 6. It's half of 12. And I know it's not to scale, but if this part's 7, uh, that would make this 7, which would make the outer radius the entire length, or 13, 6 plus 7. So our big radius is 13, our inner radius is 6, and if we want to find the area of this thing, we would do... Um, pi times 13 squared minus 6 squared, like we just did, but then we would have to remember to cut it in half because only half of it's filled in. And so it turns out in your calculator, this uh, comes out to be about 208.8 .8 square feet. Okay, so that's the portion on circles. Please use this if you're doing the retake. Use this video. Now let's look at the transformation portion. The first uh, section here, I asked you to do some simple transformations, like let's reflect this triangle over the line x equals negative three. Please draw the line first, and x equals negative three is a vertical line on which every single point, the x equals negative three. And when we're doing a reflection, we just have to figure out, um, you know, how to get this point on the other side of the line, and we want the distance to be the same. So this point here, I'm gonna move Oops, I guess I don't want to do it that way. Uh, I'm going to plot it right here, right? So that's one to the left. This point will be one to the right. It's the same distance, but on the other side. And this one's one, two, three, four. So we better make it four on the other side here, like so. 
Um, um, if I can make it work, there we are. Um, so there is a reflection over that line. See how it's a mirror image of that line? All right, so the next one says uh, translate left three and up one. Okay, so we're gonna take this thing and just go left three units, one, two, three, and up one unit for each of the three points. Left three and up one, and let's see, left three and up one. This one is fairly straightforward, and I think most people got that one just fine. Finally, the line y equals negative x is a line with a slope of negative one, goes down one over one, and it goes through the origin, uh, and it looks like this. So we have to reflect over that line. And remember, I taught you, you can sort of count corners to reflect. This is a half of a corner away, so the new version of that point is here, where I put point E. This point's on the line, so it stays on the line. And then this point goes one, two corners. Okay, so let's go one, two corners in the other direction. And bam, we've made a reflected version over the line y equals negative x. And on the last page, this is the one where we have to figure out a series of transformations that will get one triangle onto the other one. And we use these tools over here. And so I'll, I'll do one example of how to do these, but know that there are like dozens or hundreds of ways to do this. So I'm gonna, first I'm gonna translate that triangle two units to the left, and I'm gonna type my um, description here. I'm gonna say translate two units left, then I think we need to reflect it. it. It looks like a reflection over some line, so let's reflect it over a line here, and let's choose y equals two, because that, once we flip it over that line, uh, it, the purple triangle lands where we were looking for. Okay, so then we would say then reflect over y equals two. Okay, so that's the description, which is really where a lot of your grading comes in. Let's try another one. It looks like this triangle is rotated 90 degrees to make it to that triangle. So I'm going to start with a rotation, uh, 90 degrees, and I think I want to go in the other direction clockwise. Okay, great. See how that looks like it's kind of lined up with that now? So now I'm going to translate that triangle uh, so that it matches up. So what did I do? I First I rotated, rotated 90 degrees clockwise, uh, let's just say CW, around 0 comma 0. See the center of rotation is 0, 0. I've noted that I went clockwise, I rotated the degrees, I've noted everything about that. And then I translated, it looks like I went up two units and uh, right six units. I'm being very, very uh, detailed in my explanation of what I did. Let's do the last one and then uh, you can start on the retake. Okay, so this looks like it's rotated also. And I think maybe it's a 180 degree rotation. So to me, it makes sense to just start with a 180 degree rotation and there it is. Looks like it's almost right in spot. So let's just rotate it and then translate it again. And there it is. So it's a very similar thing. I could just say I rotated. 180 degrees, then uh, trans translated up two and left, what is that? One, two, three, four units. Okay, so you should do something similar on the retake. Please, again, feel free to use this video as you do the retake. It's here as a resource. Um, and I'll see you next time.